when the pressure's on, really on, death or glory, what goes through your mind? I, I don't really think anything goes through your mind. You're so focused. If you're, you know, if it's down the back nine, you're in contention, you've got a chance to win. There's no real, there's no real thoughts that, you know, creep in or there's no, you're in the moment, you're focused on what it is you're doing. The target seems to get smaller and smaller, which is good, so therefore you're focusing more. Uh, your adrenaline's running, and you kind of ex execute the shots in a better way when you're under that kind of intense pressure. So do you notice the change inside you then as it, as it goes on and suddenly the moments come, you know, the moments are getting more and more kind of yeah, clear? Yeah, the adrenaline's running, and I always have to say to myself, um, okay, just swing it nice and smooth, because most people, when they get under pressure, when, when the adrenaline's running, they, they generally hit it a little bit harder. So, you know, I, uh, I do make a, a note to say to myself, just hit it nice and smooth. Given how competitive you are, or we believe you are, I mean, do you ever let your kids win at anything? No, I beat them at everything. Do you? I don't want them to win. I want them to win, mm. so I want to win. So I want them to learn how to win. But I, I don't think it's fair to, to let them win. What do you play them at? Um, everything. I mean, whether it be chipping, putting, whether it be um, pool, I, I'll beat him. It's going to make him stronger. And it's, you know, it's going to make them stronger. I actually, I actually done it, oh, I did do it actually, I done it last year, uh, two years ago. I done it when I was down there re-gripping one of my clubs. I got some tomato ketchup and I got, got a red sharpie pen and I said I was probably going to have to pull out the masters. I cut my finger on a Stanley blade and kind of my price, my price apparently went from whatever it was, 25 to 80 to 1. Sweet. Everyone was freaking out. How hard is it to control yourself when you get people being really gobby on, on Twitter? Uh, no, I mean it's, it's obviously you know it's it's frustrating when you know people uh, people get at you on Twitter. I guess I mean that people can be very big and very brave behind a iPhone or a or a laptop. Yeah. Um, and it's stuff they wouldn't say to your face. And and that's cheap to be honest. Those people are cheap. I've got no interest in them people. So I just block them. Um, pretty much when I get a, you know. A, a comment like that, I've got, I've got no, no, no need to read it, so I just block them. I, I can never see another message from them. So um, they wouldn't say it to my face if they stood in front of me. Um, so therefore, it's, it's, it's a comment that's, that you can't take anything from. You just ignore it. It's sad people. I live a crazy life in, in a way, and um, one that you know I, I'm really enjoying. So why not share it with everybody I can share it with? Yeah. Have you got how many people do you follow? 200 actually. 200? Yeah. You're going to follow me after this? I will if, if, if you give me your at address. Yeah. It's just the name. Is it? Okay. Yeah. I'll follow you. 201. You, who would play me in a movie? Um, Brad Pitt, of course. Of course, yeah. Of course. <laughs> Anybody else? Or is that no, it? Brad Pitt. No, <laughs> take no sloppy seconds. <laughs> what would you think if you met yourself at a party? What would I think? Apart from what a coincidence it was. Shit, he's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I, I don't know what I think. Um, what would I think? I think he's a nice guy. I think he's well dressed, well presented, nice chap. Crack a few jokes. Yeah. Funny English sense of humour. Just don't get him talking about football. Well, unless you're an Arsenal fan. Yeah. What? does success now look like in the future for you? What's, what's really going to make you go, I've done it, I've done it? I think majors. Uh, I've won a WGC, I've won other tournaments around the world, I've won internationally, I've won in Japan and Singapore and Hong Kong and Australia. I, I think for me now, um, you know, I really need to focus on trying to win one of these majors. you got a favourite favorite uh, major? I shouldn't put them in order, but I have an order. Yeah. If I ever had to have an order, but the Open Championship, Augusta National, uh, US Open, US PGA, but yeah, take you know, I don't mind what order they, they come in, to be honest. Guess who's back? Golf Punk's back, baby.